Hey guys, this video is on the uh, uh, Edge Pro Apex. Um, this video is for LSU Tigers 1010. Um, you just want me to show uh, using the actual um, the system and sharpening knives. I'm going to sharpen two knives today. Uh, the first knife is going to be a little um, Rough Rider 3 blade Stockman. It says on uh, my card of scales. I'm going to sharpen uh, this blade here. Uh, just to, uh, to show you you can sharpen such a, a small knife. And then uh, after this, I'll show you uh, a small fixed blade, or medium fix, medium sized fixed blade. And you got a simple, really cheap Winchester. I think those are available at Walmart now. Um, I'm going to go over thing, uh, everything fairly quickly because uh, I actually have my batter. I'm on my last set of batteries, and they're about to run out. Uh, so hopefully I get this all in. Uh, very quickly, as you can see here, let me, let me zoom in for you. I'm going to go over the uh, these color notches. You see there, on top to bottom, you have the blue, yellow, green, red, and then all in the bottom is black. Uh, very quickly, let me back, back this back out. Um, your written written instructions are going to, uh, you know, let you know if you want to pause in the video right here. You can see what's recommended. As you can see, the blue 24 degrees, um, then yellow 21, green 18, red 15, and then the very bottom uh, is a 10 degree black. Uh, now this says 10 degrees is for these serrated knives. Uh, you do not want to sharpen the actual serration side. You want to sharpen the back of the serrations. Um, it's a little tricky. I don't really have a serrated knife here to show you that right now. Um, but basically you're just sharpening the one side, the back, the back end. Uh, it doesn't, that's flat. It does not have the notches cut out. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to try to go fast and jump into this. Uh, those are, again, that's, those are your, um, your angle guides to do whatever angles you're going to use. Um, I have a 330 grit fine stone on here right now. I'm going to wet it down. Okay, you want to, uh, they, you know, that little water bottle I showed you that uh, comes with the kit. Okay. Now I'm going to show you, explain this guide. Now I already preset this guide for this small blade. Okay. But this slides back and forth. And what you want to do is you want to have it so that when your blade is on the edge of the machine here, the table rather, let me slide this actually a little bit off. You want to adjust this so that, lock that down, so that the blade, let me move my camera, is uh, right at the edge of the table there. Okay, just hanging off the edge. Now there's a guide clip here that goes on the end of there, but because this is such a thin blade and I'm so far on the edge, uh, if I put this on right now, it would, uh, the stone would rub on that instead of the blade. So you want to start either, either side, doesn't matter. Put it against your table here, keep it steady. You want forward, very light forward strokes. Now, as I'm going forward, I'm going off to the side a little to accommodate the length of the blade. Okay, it doesn't take much. Very light pressure. Flip over the other side. Now, what you want to do is when you're push, when you're doing your forward stroke, very light pressure downwards. Okay, but when you're pulling back, even if I tend to lift up, but even if you're sliding on the blade, that's fine. But do not put downward pressure on the back stroke. Just use the weight of the stone to pull it back. Okay. Nice and simple. Uh, this is the uh, included um, sharpening steel. It's just a ceramic rod. Flip the tube over, kind of locks in place there. You have a rubber nib to rest against the table. You want to do just a light pass on either side. This is going to remove any uh, the wire edge, any burr that's on the blade. I do, on, you know, on average about two passes maybe on each side. Get a piece of paper here. I was cutting this up before, but let's see uh, what that edge is like now. Nice and sharp. Um, also, this is such a thin edge, you know, of course, it's going to perform, you know, extremely well. So, you know, I'm happy with this. I would actually probably go back on the uh, on the rod here, just a couple more passes, just to really fine-tune that edge. Now, the next knife I'm going to show you, I'm going to use the same stone, 330 grit, but I'm going to have to uh, put this clip back on the edge here. It's kind of a pain in the butt once you take it off, but for the most part, I don't sharpen these really little knives. You want to kind of sp spread this out. Once you get it on the corner, of course, this is wasting a lot of uh, a lot of video uh, time. All right, there we go. Once you get it on the corner, you slide it on, slide it across. Get that nice and even. All right, good. Now, this is the uh, Winchester. It's about a four-inch blade. Uh, you're going to do the same process, but first you're going to move this up and down to uh, get the right guide size, you know, upwards. Um, bring Again, just bring that right to the very edge so the blade's hanging off the edge. 
tighten that down. I'm going to re-wet my stone. A couple drops. Just kind of spread that evenly across. Now this will get messy with the water and all the, uh, you know, the metal filings and all that, but uh, you know, not a huge deal. Uh, rest against the table. Same deal. Um, a moderate pressure forward, letting the, the just the way the stone slide backwards. Okay, I'm gonna start down the bottom here. A couple passes. Now you don't want to come all the way out to the edge here. You're kind of off balance. Plus you might change the angle, the edge angle, very very slightly. So you want to do is bring the knife back a little. Okay, and you can pivot. Okay, on the edge here. Kind of pivot to keep it even, the angle. But this way the edge is towards you, so you can kind of get that tip. Now as I get towards the uh, the end of my this side, very light pressure just all the way across. Okay, moving slightly forward. All the way across. I'm going to flip over. As you can see here, this is the buildup on the other side of my thumb. That's the water and the metal filings collecting. Um, you might want to just wipe that. Use my shorts. Since... All right. Um, and you want to just do the exact same thing on the other side. So it's kind of you got to kind of be ambidextrous with this. Um, and again, same deal. Nice and light. Bringing it back a little so I can do the tip. Then coming across the whole length of the blade. Nice and light. So that uh, that's basically it, you know. Um, actually, you know, tell you the truth, what, what I didn't I didn't actually sharpen this knife um, because I'm set I'm still set on a 15 degree angle. So I never actually got to the edge. I never I should have switched. So I'll do that right now to show you. See what I did was instead of instead of continuing the same angle, I kind of sharpened right above it. So I brought the edge back a little bit, but I didn't actually sharpen sharpen the edge. So I'll bring this up to the uh, you know the instructions recommend for a thin blade, thin hunting blade, um, the yellow, which is I believe 21 degrees. So I'll repeat the same process. You know, very very simply. Now I'm on the same the same edge as this here. Um, if you don't, if you line up, if you don't line up on the same edge, it's not a big deal. You just take a, a coarser stone, and you can set the edge of whatever knife. Let's say, let's say you have a knife, and you know it's a twenty degree edge. If you want, you know, an eighteen degree edge, that's fine. But you want to start off with a coarser stone, so you can bring all that metal down to the uh, the edge angle you want. And again, just bring it back a little bit, flipping over. I'm actually going to re re uh, wet my stone just a little bit there. Okay, now the other side. Very light pass all the way across. That should be it. I'm going to do a couple passes on the uh, sharpening steel here. Either side. And that's about it. Uh, let me get some paper here. Let's see what we got. Uh, see what we're working with. Move this aside. It's getting caught up a little bit there. Now it's fairly sharp. I would uh, I would go back and um, rework the edge a little bit on the uh, on the uh, ceramic stone here or rod uh, to really fine tune that edge. But um, again, that's it. Very simple. Um, very quickly, I'm going to uh, show you what else comes with this kit. I got the two hundred dollar kit. Um, you, like, I, like I showed before, you do get the paper instructions, tells you everything you need to know. You also get a DVD. Uh, I, got, I happen to get the polishing stones, and, or polishing tapes rather. What you get is you get, uh, because I got two different tapes, I get, you get a blank stone. It's the, like the base, but it doesn't have a stone attached. And then you get these polishing um, tapes. And that's basically what, what it is. I have uh, a 3,000 grit, it's like a sticker. That's all it is. And you, you take this, the backing off and you stick it to this, and you use it as if it was a stone. And, uh, you know, 3,000 grit, that's really going to put a mirror, mirror polished edge, uh, you know, on your knife. And then the other one, the pink here, is uh, 1,000 grit. So that's how those work. So I hope this video was uh, very helpful. I, I hope you uh, answered all the questions you might have had. And that's about it. Uh, once again, guys, sorry for the clock in the background. I, I tried to time it so I didn't have the clock, but my battery, the camera shut off. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, once again, thank you very much for your time.